so in the first part of the spring data jpa demo we have seen the crud repository interface and the methods it provides internally and we can use that to read data from the database okay so in this video we are going to write our own query add query annotation which we can use to interact with database so let's move towards the project and see this in action how we can do it this is the spring data demo project that we have seen so far so it has few controls which is getting the users and this is deleting the user this is the service impl which is calling the repository which is this at repository interface user repository is the interface from which we are interacting with this crud repository so here we want to use our own custom query by using at query annotation to read data from the database so let's go ahead and write our first method using at query annotation okay so suppose i want to list user so user is our entity which is mapped with the database okay so just import this one list so get all user by first name this is the query that i want to write okay and i want to take parameter first name okay so this is the interface so there are few so how it will be executed what query to execute at this moment so i'll write that by my own by using this query annotation and inside that i'll write the query okay so select you from user user is the entity that is mapped with the user table okay where user alias it with you where you dot first name that is with the entity okay so if i go to user class so it has this first name so this should be same as here okay so because it will map with that entity only not the table so so this is the index method that i can pass the uh, parameters okay so first name it is the first one so if i have to pass one more so that will be at work that will be working at second one okay so first one only one is there so this one will be mapped with this one okay so let's go ahead and use this get user by first name and see if it is returning the desired result or not okay so we will go ahead and use this by user get all user by first name in user service impl then subsequently we will call this from user controller okay so let's go ahead and uh, write this one so user service i will go so go ahead here and write this one get all user by first name okay so this exact same to same i want to write just to maintain the consistency okay so this is it okay so now i have to implement this here in user service dot impl okay, as it is so this is the usual thing that i am doing so what i will do this here return user repository dot get all user by first name and i have to pass the first name right this is the first name and i have to use this in user controller directly okay so public get all user user by first name and pass the first name, okay so this is it so i have to put the return type list list of user i want to return here okay and now i have to annotate it with get mapping because i want to read the data and more get all user by first name so name the annotation just to explain the things that we are doing it right okay and in parameter pass the first name okay and annotate it with path variable so that this first name this first name gets mapped properly okay so our endpoint is ready now i can use it this will go here get all user by name and ultimately this will interact with the repository and this 
should execute okay so let's go ahead and start the application so our application is starting now started now let's go ahead this is our swagger ui that we are using to interact with our application okay so let's go ahead and this is the endpoint that we just created so here we will pass the first name and we will see the result so first before going doing that let's see the data in database okay so this is the existing data that is there so we will pass some first name so there are two names by name arvind we have two data so i'm going to pass this arvind and see what result it is returning okay so pass arvind and execute it okay see i got the result too which is here okay if i execute the same query here select star from user where first name equal arvind semicolon and it will result the same result okay two queries two re two results so same i am getting it here okay so this we executed by using indexed indexed method okay indexed query there is one more way that i can use named parameter named query which uh, we call it named query okay so i can write that method also and get so let's go ahead and write that also so i want to this time i want to list user on the basis of gender get users above that i want to use query annotation as we did in the previous one query annotation and write the query now select you from user remember this user is the entity that it has not the table okay so if you are using crud repository it has to be in this way otherwise it will throw an error where you dot gender cool i will name it gender okay here to map this with this one i have to use one at which annotation param okay and inside param i have to give name this gender this gender is getting mapped with this one not this one okay just to avoid the confusion just name it gender one okay so this will be mapped with this gender okay so our repository method get all users by gender is ready so let's go ahead and use this so i'll be writing the same one in service and implement this same in service imb also just remove this param annotation that is not needed here okay so go ahead and implement the unimplemented method one and it is returning as so return user repository dot get user by gender pass the gender one correct so it will return the users by gender so let's go ahead and use this one in our controller so what i will do i will write one more method like this so let me copy it and paste it and change this first name with gender okay so just small little bit editing and we are keep in mind while editing on copying pasting right so you has to be gender okay so it is calling the gender and it is also calling the gender and we are going at correct position okay so it is the name parameter so let's start the application and go to swagger ui and refresh it okay our application is running let's go ahead and see this just refresh the one and go here now i get this user by gender okay already so it is there so let's go ahead and enter the gender and we will get the data for the gender okay so yeah see i got it so we have two users with gender m okay we can verify it in the table so these are the all the data so m and m only ny address and texas address are mean okay other are not so we have seen both one indexed 
and named query while reading the data okay so let's go ahead and write the one more methods for updating the user which will be the final for this demo so let's go ahead i want to update the address of particular user okay so i am naming it a string id or a string actually when you see the user entity it is not a string but long so long id and a string with new address okay so this comma and put the query annotation i want to make this like first one indexed query okay so uh, which one so this is the new address this should be second one okay where u dot id equal first one this will you will uh, get more understanding about index so name is pretty much clear right so if you write many arguments here and you can name it one by one okay sequence doesn't matter but in this one indexed one sequence matters first one will get this location and second will get this one okay so any name you mention here in here that doesn't matter okay it should match with the entity but here it doesn't matter what name you are giving right so let's go ahead and write this in impl and then use in controller so i am going ahead and writing this in service okay so i'll go ahead and implement this not written anything but call user repository dot update with new id and with new address use this in controller so i want to message some users so string update address and what i want to pass is take string id and this is not like this so pass it to long if everything goes fine it will return properly and update the user at bin address updated okay same now annotate it with. to update it i have to put it put mapping okay and endpoint name i one path variable and part here so this will get matched with this one and this with this one okay so our code is ready this let's go ahead start the application and execute it so application is started go ahead and refresh our control swagger ui and i'll get one more one here so let all user know update address id and new address okay so try it out and i want to update id 5 so let's go ahead and check so 5 we have arvin and address we have new daily okay so i'll update this with noida okay and execute it it is throwing some error what it is you set address here this 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 so let's go ahead and check the code so let me check the user repository yeah i was missing one thing so that is also good so you will now remember it so when you are updating the some dml operation data manipulation query that you are executing so you have to put one more annotation that you are modifying it apart from this you have to make it transactional okay so that data update acid property atomicity consistency integrity all those properties gets honored properly so you have to use these two annotation also when you are executing any dml operation update or delete or drop operation right so just restart application and try it again and it will, it will work properly started refresh it go here and go to this try it out five and noida okay executed yeah address updated i got the proper message here and say see here select start from user arvin kumar i got address as noida earlier it was new daily okay so in this video we have seen three things with add query annotation we have read the data from database by using custom queries 
writing custom queries has two ways by indexing queries by named query okay i can use this name i can index it and we also updated the data in database right so go ahead and practice more about it and if you see any issue any problem put that in comment section i'll be happy to help you out okay so i'll see you in the next video there is one more one more part coming in this user data jp which is related to pagination which is pretty interesting okay i'll see you there till then take care bye bye